Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the Foundry. I am JB here with Talis and Kylo, and we are the host of today's Curse Podcast. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. <laughs> hey, we are finally back as, as Talis is crying in, in horror right now. It's It's been a long time, hasn't it, I'm boys? so scared. Are you are you scared right now? You I'm do, scared. We do have a very scary topic. Are you, are you fucking joking right now? Or are you being for real? Because this is I'm very scared, scary. Jizzy. I'm scared, Jizzy. It's all over. I'm <laughs> the first 30 seconds and you're talking about cum already. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what kind of show do you think we're running here? I mean, it's the first post. and last fucking podcast of the year. Yeah. Well, hopefully, yeah, it's been a long time, you guys. We're, we're really sorry. We've been really busy. Um, people have been moving around jobs, moving around school and stuff. You know, we, we've been doing a lot on, you know. But, but you know, before, before we dive into today's... Uh, topic, you know, that everyone's super excited to be hearing about. Uh, we see everyone's patience. Uh, everyone's been super nice in the comments. They're super patient, just waiting for the next episode. We appreciate that. But, uh, you know, before we dive in, into the paranormal, you know, the reason why everyone's here, uh, how are you guys? Yeah, how was your day? I want to die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> mm hmm. So the DL of Pass incident is our topic for today. Uh, we've 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 seen some of your guys' recommendations, but um, it's been far too long, and we just kind of said fuck that. We're just kind of research whatever we want. Uh, yeah. So um, we're gonna try to be consistent as much as possible. We're gonna get this edited out, banged out quickly. I've been trying to film this like forever, but uh, you know, Kylo, Talos, and I, we finally got to our heads together. Uh, we sat down. It's about three o'clock in the morning for Kylo and I. One a.m. for Talos. You know, we've been we've been up all night drinking that fucking coffee. We got the FBI outside waiting on us. We're on we're on watch list, you know, because because we're getting the known. We're getting the unknown. People we're researching shit. Yeah, we we're we researching don't. the hard shit, so you guys don't have to. You know, we're we're fucking a, we're blowing you? we're blowing whistles over here. Oh, I'm blowing whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's like two potential parts of the podcast I have to edit out that you're talking about. You can leave that cum. fucking shit out. You can leave this part too. <laughs> if I oh, edit out all the parts where you talk about come, you won't be in the podcast. <laughs> you can leave this part out. Come on. Like, <laughs> they need to know the. the, the, the. Anyways, guys, so it, it, it's, a, it's a mountain. Yeah, so the the Olive Pass uh, was an incident. So back back a long time ago, say in 1959 in February. Uh, it's actually yeah, this month. Holy shit! Um, yeah. So yeah, there was a major event. A couple of Soviet trackers died in northern Ural Mountains and a little area known as what uh, Dead Pass, Dead. Dead Mountain, something, right? Um, all right, no, I think it just translates to Dead Mountain, um, which is the Kolat Siyak. Gold Mountain Range? Um, yeah, so apparently just a bunch of Russians... Well, here's what officially... There was a new... They they, they kind of died under mysterious circumstances. And then Russia like opened up a new investigation in 2019, a couple years ago. And they concluded, after a year later investigating, that a simple avalanche had led to their deaths. And that's the survivors of the avalanche that died, uh, that lived... Um, had been faced to, like, were forced to suddenly leave their camp in low visibility conditions, um, and they didn't have any equipment or clothing and had died of hypothermia. So that's what Russia said, which we all know they're liars. No one can trust Russia, obviously. Nope. But you uh, know who you can trust? Curse Podcast. Us. Exactly, yep. baby. Exactly. So, Talos, can, can you run down about how some of these fucking people... It's actually really interesting, like, because there's, there's what, nine people, right? So yeah, nine people had fucking gone missing. Yeah. And, so uh, nine people like experienced trackers who who do this on the daily. You know how we deal with the paranormal. It's like it's like how they deal with mountains. You know our parent our mountain is ghosts, and their and their mountains an actual mountain though. We actually went to that mountain and we investigated <laughs> that just for you guys. And it's real, right? That's what it's real. That, that mountain is real. Russia is real. <laughs> <laughs> We've concluded. That's the end of the episode. It was not false. Russia is real as fuck, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
You know, if everyone's going to be like in the comments room, like, you know what? We wanted the cruise podcast back. Never mind. <laughs> They're like, now nah, I'm good. <laughs> Here's a picture of Kyler in Russia. <laughs> put, it, put it on the screen, please. Yep, right there. There it is. Enjoy Thank that. You. That is Kyler in Russia drinking loads of vodka right now. That is clearly Florida. <laughs> <laughs> wine Why shirt and snowy? shit like that just do a bad photoshop of you on your cruise from last month in, in <laughs> fucking and like a black and white photo so next to a bunch of... up against the railing this fucking b-52 is going on in the background hey why are there dead bodies around you <laughs> <laughs> what's victor reznov doing there um oh no there's a dragon there uh so yeah so um oh jesus yeah so a um on this pass uh, a bunch of people you know Went out, uh, they were going for a little expedition, and they all went missing. No one heard from them for a very long time until eventually they sent out a crew um, a couple of weeks after, a couple of, was it days or weeks or something like that. But these are like sub-zero temperatures, you know? And uh, they all were dead. All the all the people were dead. All uh -huh. the trackers. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> all of them were dead. Absolutely dead. Um, some of them died in like really gruesome ways. Some of them were pretty boring. Like, oh, you froze to death in sub-zero temperatures. How, how boring. Um, some of them were naked. Uh, they, they all like died in really fucked up ways. Bird marks. Yeah, it was really weird. Yeah, one victim had major skull damage. Two had severe chest trauma. Another had a small crack in his skull. Four bodies were found lying in running water in a creek. Three of the four had damaged soft tissue to the head and face. Two of the bodies had missing eyes. One had a missing tongue. And one had missing eyebrows. Yeah. Yep, avalanche right there. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's your typical avalanche. <laughs> Taking eyeballs and tongues and shit uh, on some Ed Gein shit. Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, like, my tongue. Uh, I, I don't I don't really see that happening, but that's just me though. So why would Russia just lie like that? What are they are they covering something up? What are they lying about? <laughs> I knew it was flat earthers. I swear to God. What what honestly? What what would they, what they be lying about? Kyler, what, what's your take on these liars? <laughs> so um, there's a lot of speculation on like different things that might have occurred to the trekkers whenever they were going up on the deal the Altov paths. Right. And, um. Uh. The most common ones was, yeah, like a uh, avalanche or whatever, um, which doesn't really explain, like, all the tear marks to their uh, tents and stuff like that, unless they did that, like, via knife. Um, I thought, like, uh, while reading up on it, too, like, the missing eyebrows, eyes, and other extremities was from, like, local wildlife or whatever, like, eating off of the dead bodies and stuff like that. But uh, Right. Um, I mean, out of, like, all the things that are, like, talked about, that seems, like, the most realistic to me, I guess. An avalanche, yeah. But... An avalanche, and like, I don't, I don't know, natural causes. A lot of natural causes at play, even though they may all seem very freakish, but... Yeah. Do you... Well, back in 1959, I'm assuming that there are experienced doctors and shit and, and people in that field. I think they would be able to tell if, like, things were removed post-mortem. Like, eyes and um, tongues. I'm yes, like, yes, you uh, would have, but... Uh... Seeing as how back then, whenever they like conducted their first investigation, it was the SSR. Uh, their investigation kind of sucked, and they left a lot of shit out, presumably. Yeah. And um, they were they are liars. I mean, we have we have confirmed that they are liars. You know, they have lied about yeah. that a lot. Th site. Then they lie about like the the deaths of Chernobyl by like the thousands. Or they think they think like originally like three. They said like yeah, three hundred people died when it's like in the thousands died. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not quite sure oh, about shit. that. Yeah, but the original investigation uh, concluded that a compelling natural force had caused the deaths. Numerous theories have been put forward to uh, account for the unexplained deaths, including animal attacks, hypothermia, avalanche, um, catatonic winds, uh, infrasound induced panic, military involvement, or some combo with these factors. So these things called the catatonic winds that apparently blow at a certain frequency that makes these people, I guess, lose their mind to a degree. And yeah, it doesn't like all the oxygen like leave the area for a second. And... Yeah, it's where it like it just it, it's like a vi a violent wind, and it, which some people could consider like a plausible explanation yeah. uh, for the incident. And some of them just like went absolutely mad and were like throwing like yeah. Some of them, the the tents, Kylo mentioned that that their their base camp. Yeah, talk about their base camp, Kylo. 
So uh, the base camp, I didn't really have an exact estimate, but I would assume there was probably like four tents or something like that. Um, I think normally banging, they would sleep. Banging yeah, yeah. Tents. Well, like sleeping groups to stay warm. Uh, this is, if I'm not correct, this is on the edge of like the SSR's uh, Siber uh, Siberia, or whatever that. Yeah, the Ural Mountains. Huge plot of like ice is and yeah, shit. It's, um, very frozen, sub zero temperatures, ice cold. Very baby. dangerous and shit like that, but uh. Um, yeah, like a small base camp, they would like sleep together, I would presume, to like stay warm and stuff like that. And I don't know, because the way they described it in like a couple of the reports, like they said, like it did, it could have been like a bear attack or some shit like that. Is that like an actual photo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got, um, you, did, didn't you take that in your investigation? <laughs> no. <-uh. laughs> yeah, that's, that's an actual photo. There. I Hmm. Yeah, hmm. that's an actual photo there. Yeah, so like a lot of the tents were like ripped open from the inside, mm -hmm. like were cut from the inside. So that's why some people think they they absolutely lost their marbles and were just like kind of freaking out and exiting the tents and just running off because a lot of them didn't have clothes. They were, which is experienced hikers and like knowing like them leaving that tent without any clothes, knowing that they're gonna die. That's the only like they know that they're gonna die. So. Unless there's a bigger threat, they're a bigger immediate threat, you know? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of speculation on that, too. Like, even then, like, the avalanche theory and stuff like that, uh, or probability, um, you only have, like, a very limited time to, like, try to get away from that. But even then, more than likely than not, like, you're not going to get away from a fucking avalanche. But, yeah. Um, that would explain, like, the cutting away very quickly and, like, trying to escape and shit like that and for blunt force trauma and shit. Like, it would obviously be your body ragdolling down the mountain or see, hills a little bit see i like i like you're taking like a really realistic approach to it you know it, it's not very interesting you know for for paranormal why <laughs> no 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 i have <laughs> other, other, like, no no other, no other, listen you think we're a news channel i have like, other theories i'm like, it's what, like fox news griffin here but, like the most like realistic seems to be like the avalanche like blunt force trauma and then like animals coming in to like pick off extremities and shit like that off of the bodies once they're like ceased but. yeah what, what are you going for first talus you know um uh, typical feet I, <laughs> their tongue <laughs> typical feet connoisseur yeah, we'll get some beaver <laughs> um <laughs> l let me let me bring this up though kyla so apparently some levels of radiation were found on uh one of the victims clothing <laughs> what do you got to say about that um they're the uh, camera gun from fallout 4 <laughs> yeah uh so, like, I can't really think of, like, a personal account, but I could probably presume, like, there may be some military involvement or, like, waste disposal that, like, happens on the mountain. I'm not entirely sure. But, like, an that, avalanche can obviously, like, spread that shit. That, that's, that's quite weird, though, right? That is, no, it is extremely weird. Um, which is why, in the beginning there, like I said, like, I can't think of, like, a natural case where, like, someone just came across, like, something, like, super radioactive that wasn't, like, man-made or something like that. Right. Um, so or apparently, like, actually, like, dug up like deep from the ground or some shit. But, yeah, there's yeah. there's a lot of weird things like with this case as well. Like it's it's just not as clear. There's like, oh yeah, like it makes sense. Yeah, an avalanche could have caused hypothermia, but there's just like these weird little things about it, like the radiation, and the it's been confirmed by scientists and doctors that their physical wounds and attacks couldn't have been done by so, a normal human. Mm -hmm. Um, so you said their clothes or their bodies absorbed like a lot of radiation. Their clothing, because I know clothing can can like the uh, the matter of the clothing like holds onto it without deteriorating longer huh. than humans. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so the, the because of the force of the wounds had been too strong, and no soft tissue had been damaged apparently with uh, some of the attacks. So I guess at first they're ruling out that they were attacking each other, and they thought mm -hmm. like, oh, there's no way that they could have been doing this to each other. There's no public documents on like on their internal organs or their conditions either so again russia either shoddy you know investigation or they're covering shit up they're covering shit up what could they be covering up the kgb they they love to cover shit up yep 1959 this is like prime kgb stuff going on man prime they're in I've it found yep. a theory oh yeah that, so it was like what nine students originally and one odd person, which was a sports instructor that had fought in World War II, 
So this veteran was with these students. So he knew something. He was odd. And so one theory has suggested that he and a student that had dropped out earlier, because he was sick, they're part of the KGB and they're supposed to rendezvous with some CIA agent, agents. And the dealing went wrong. And Whoa, that's that, a, that's a major accusations right there, tell us that the, that the CIA was when cahoots with the KGB in 1959. What do you have? Do you have any evidence to back this up? Kyler, I know you were there. <laughs> you saw it. You get any public. You get any full it becomes public domain in like seven years. All right, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> you right. Which is real. Look that up, guys. Yeah. There's um, gonna be pictures of Kylie right there. <laughs> shaking hands with like an alien on the top of a mountain and shit. It doesn't matter if they fucking post a photo. Everyone in it's dead. You have the Wonder <laughs> Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking Jesus. Can Christ. I get the right gun? <laughs> so, 30 miles south of the incident reported that uh, someone saw strange orange spheres in the sky to the north mm-hmm. of the. Night of the incident as well. Um, mm-hmm. For the next month, multiple like similar reports were also made that uh, these weird lights were around the mountain uh, as well. Uh, what, what do you guys think about that? That um, which isn't like super solid, you know. People always report seeing lights and stuff like that, and you know that's that's just one of your most popular like kind of UFO thing. Like oh, I just seen lights and stuff, but it does pose. Like a question, I don't know if we're seeing like some Skinwalker Ranch type of orbs, you know, because those were some dangerous ass dog killing orbs at Skinwalker Ranch, if you remember, Kyler. Which you guys can check out in the very first uh, episode of the Curse Podcast. Um, but, you know, UFOs could have been involved. Um, or, like I said before, there was a, an, an, a, an extreme immediate <clears throat> danger leading up to it. These people, like, they they go to sleep, you know. They take off all their gear. They're all snuggled up with all their other their other partners and their team and their all their tents. They're all warmed up, you know. They got the fire crackling outside. They got their hot cocoa. Their bellies are full. They go to sleep, and then you hear a roaring from the outside, and and it just a fucking what is it? A big yeti man comes out of nowhere and starts fucking these people up and smashing skulls and stealing their lips and eyebrows and shit. Oh my god. And of big... course your penis is caught in fucking eyes and like yeah. <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> He's holding me by the penis. Team Silverback. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Donkey Kong? Don't do this. Um but no, like that that's like that's gotta be a legitimate thing, you know, like a fucking yeti. That's 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 also like a pretty big theory right there, right? You're you're from Believer of Yetis, huh? Uh you know what? I've never seen one personally, but I've also never been to uh <laughs> The uh, Dead Mountain Pass, like some. Like, if What'd you, you look up Tyler? the Olive Pass incident, B- Yeti, big Yeti guy, I don't know what happened. Maybe, has anyone done that? Maybe that's, oh shit, I cracked a code. No, oh. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh my god. <laughs> like, it's real. No one, no one typed that up before. All right, guys, now on the, now on the episode, we're going to show you a bunch of fake images of uh, Yetis. Fake? Those are real. Uh, Put one in G- GTA. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be that, that, no. It's it's interesting because there's there's just so many things going on with this case. There's nothing just like straight, like straight about it. It'd be like, oh, it's a bunch of bodies that were just froze on a mountain range during an avalanche. All right, yeah, that that makes sense. That that totally makes sense. But it's like, yeah, a bunch of bodies were frozen, and all their heads were caved in, and they're missing like parts of their fucking body. And there's radiation. Yeah. Radiation and there's UFO lights ahead. Like what the heck? I'm assuming maybe with like a lot of the uh, with them like investigating and looking around and stuff like that because they could see like track marks leading to and from campsites and stuff like that because I'm I'm assuming it's a undisturbed site. You know maybe after the avalanche that like if there was like any kind of creature or animal like like a potential yeti or something like that you know skinwalker exactly i don't know skinwalker that's that's not true. russian skinwalker that, that, i don't think that can be a thing because skinwalkers are mainly from like a, a regional thing right oh that's right yeah yeah <clears throat> but like you know unless uh wendigo which which mainly is like what the spirit of so like someone you cannibalize hmm. we haven't done an episode on it so i don't know anything about it yet so was that Jack Frost? Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck, Kyler? 
Yeah, also like found in Mario. Russia, confirmed. <laughs> yeah, he looks fucked up. Um, yeah. So what? So which 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 are you like leaning towards? Like, if you had to choose a theory to be correct, which one are you guys leaning towards? The more realistic one. Like what? Where it was a, a certain kind of wind that took out all their oxygen. I was about to say energy. The catatonic, <laughs> the, oxygen. catatonic, yeah, catatonic winds. winds. Yeah, that that does seem pretty likely. That's not very paranormal though, and I think like winds. not a lot are are known about these winds either. I think they've only done like a couple of studies on it too. Damn. Yeah, um, Kylo, which which one are you leading towards? <clears throat> um, I'm probably gonna lean towards like the realistic one. Um. Like uh, an avalanche, or maybe like a gust of wind, like you said, happened, and uh, they either had to rush away from something very dangerous, or uh, I guess went delusional and ran away from their campsite, and uh, uh, basically received trauma from whatever stupidity they were doing. If they were deprived of oxygen, or the trauma that they got, if it was an av uh, avalanche, and like I said. Uh, Eyebrows, eyes, and other shit they were missing was probably from like animals picking yeah. off like this. hands, knees, and toes. Yeah, but what funny. animals are like just kind of hanging out though, like a sub zero? Uh, in Siberia, nothing good like wolves. Um, but they, I'm sure bears. I'd say they tongue. find like tracks and stuff like that too. And why to have the tongue? Lead you the wolf or like yeah people, i i uh, just wish that like they had documents of like the organs and like more detail like of what actually happened there because like the catatonic wind sounds like legit that they all just kind of went crazy but they're all like injured enough to where they said that like yo like humans couldn't do this kind of damage to each other they're covering it up yeah or the, i feel like there actually could be a weird like cover-up angle as well but it's hard to like articulate one with accuracy so what we'll do here with you guys today because there's just so many like possible theories we'll we'll decide if the incident could be considered paranormal or not so i'm gonna go ahead and say yes i think it's paranormal mm -hmm. i just don't know Same what it dude. is okay any thoughts oh i was waiting for you um Okay. Uh, I don't think it's paranormal. I think all the things that happen in there, like each Jesus circumstance, is Christ. definitely Russia odd. Russia got to him too. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's a he's an officer. Oh Jesus Christ! Russia got oh. to Kylo to my boy. I knew it. God, uh, more realistically, I'm sure tongue. like if it was like something super bad, it was probably something to do with the military. But I doubt it was anything like paranormal, like. Yeah, uh, Russian Yetis or Russian Skinwalkers or. <laughs> Were you there? Were you there? <laughs> so, so you think I, it's paranormal? You think it's paranormal? Seven, seven years yeah. public domain. Awesome, yes. Because <laughs> there's radiation. It, it just, who just goes for tongue? So, so two yes, there are two yeses and a no. I, I, I could see that it, it's, it's hard to like put one like on there. I think the only reason I agree with yes is because there's just, like, no concrete evidence of, like, telling me what happened. I think it's more rather, like, supporting that, like, there's not enough evidence to support anything accurate. I think that's, like, the weird thing about it. It's where, like, not that I'm like, oh, yeah, there's clearly enough evidence of a Yeti or clearly enough evidence of UFO involvement. It's just, like, there's so many weird just twists in the story that you just don't know what to, like, what happened. There's nothing supports nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I swear to I'm God that sure. I'm not like a Russian sleeper cell. That had made sense in my head a little bit. Don't, right. Don't don't say it around him. You, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so, without taking any more paychecks from Russia, you guys, I I think that's gonna conclude our investigation for today. I think the Curtis podcast is back, boys. I don't know. We have I, an informant now. No. <laughs> It's okay because this episode is going to do so well that we can get him back on the payroll, right, boys? <laughs> we could get Kyler back. All right, yeah. So if you want to get Kyler back and you guys want to see more of the Curse Podcast, tweet this out, show your friends, send the video, spread the love, and we'll hopefully we'll see you guys later on the next episode of some more of the Curse Podcast. But until then, bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>
No! No! 